Okay, for 5b, um, they want the value of f prime of v prime of 4 and v prime of 20. Um, these are just the accelerations at 4 and 20. So uh, we can see that at 4, there's no instantaneous rate of change. The velocity just goes from this linear function to that linear function. Uh, just a s sudden change, no curving action. Um, so there's really no instantaneous rate of change. So v prime of 4 does not exist. And to put that in a math, sort of math terms and prove that, um, we could say that the limit as x approaches 4 from the positive side of v prime of t must equal the limit as x approaches 4 from the negative side of v prime of t in order for this instantaneous rate of change to exist. Um, and the limit as x approaches 4 from the positive side is just when the x's are getting extreme, well in this case the t's, t, t, when the t's are getting, the time is getting extremely close to 4 from the positive side and that can just give us, so it, it's v prime of t, so it's the slope of this graph. Um, and the slope of the graph using the f uh, slope formula is just, uh, so it would be 20 minus 0 over 4, 20 over 4 is 5, so the limit as t approaches 4 from the positive direction of v prime of t is 5, and the limit as t approaches 4 from the negative side is different, it's just 0, there's no slope, it's just flat. Um, so this does not equal that, and that's how we can determine that this does not, in fact, exist. Um, anyway, v prime of 20, we can see does exist. Um, because it's on, a, it's just on a, uh, a slope. So v prime of 20 is just the slope of this line because it's a constant linear slope. Um, so we can, we can, we know these values, this value and this value. Um, so we can just find the slope of that line and that will give us the instantaneous rate of change at this point because this instantaneous rate of change is that whole slope of the line. Um, so the slope of the line is 0, the y value, minus the first y value, 20, over 24 minus 16. Um, and this equals negative 20 over 24 minus 16 is um, 8. So 20 divided by 8 is 10 over 4. And 10 over 4 equals negative 10 over 4 equals negative 5 over 2. Um, so this is the acceleration, because the derivative of velocity acceleration, so acceleration at 20 seconds is negative 5 over 2 meters per second per second, or per second squared. 